Hey there, tennis fans. I'm Grace Carter, and this is Tennis Now, presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today, and it ships today. After his amazing win in Australia, Rafa Nadal now stands alone as the Grand Slam King. It is quite a feat, not just the way he won, which was otherworldly, but Rafa has spent his entire career chasing rival Roger Federer in the Grand Slam race. Now Rafa stands atop the major mountain one slam ahead of Roger and world number one Novak Djokovic. So, is the argument over? Where do we stand in the great GOAT debate? Well, supporters say that Rafa's epic win solidifies his status as the greatest of all time. For years now, right or wrong, grand slams have been used as the measuring stick. So, they say now that Rafa has passed Roger and Novak in total slam titles, Rafa is the GOAT. His fans say that GOAT is much more than just statistics. It's about being a true ambassador and inspirational leader for our sport. They say the ferocity that Rafa showed fighting back against Daniel Medvedev summarizes the perseverance and the passion he's displayed throughout his entire career. And it reinforces Rafa's reputation as arguably the greatest fighter in all of sport. His magical Melbourne run also showed that Rafa is a unifier who connected fans from all over the world. Novak Djokovic supporters say while Rafa is the Grand Slam king, for now, Nadal is not the GOAT, at least not yet. They say an accurate assessment of the GOAT can only be made when all three legendary champions have retired and we can compare their final career results. Secondly, since Novak did not compete, means that a lot of Djokovic supporters are going to put an asterisk next to Rafa's number 21 because there was no man in the 2022 AO field, including Rafa, who has ever beaten Novak in Melbourne. They say, in fact, Novak hasn't lost a hard court match to Rafa since the 2013 U.S. Open final. That's a streak of nine consecutive hard court wins for Nole over Rafa. In fact, in their last nine hard court matches, Rafa hasn't won a single set. Add to that, Nole has twice beaten Rafa at Roland Garros. Nole supporters say the GOAT title is more than just a Grand Slam tote board. It is an accumulation of a champion's entire body of work. And by that criteria, there can be no doubt that Novak is GOAT. To be the best of all time, you have to be the best of your time. And the numbers don't lie. Novak owns a winning head-to-head -head record over Rafa and Roger. Novak owns the ATP record for most weeks at world number one. He stands at 358 and counting. Already almost 150 weeks more than Rafa's reign at number one. Novak's seven seasons as ATP year-end number one are the most in history. And given Novak is younger than Rafa and Roger, time is on his side to win more Grand Slams and ATP titles. Further, Novak fans say that Rafa's run to 21 will only unleash a more raw hunger in Djokovic, who is now more determined than ever to come back strong. If you saw Rafa's AO presser, he was asked if number 21 is GOAT confirmation. Rafa says his goal is to keep playing and winning and ultimately doesn't care where people come down in the GOAT debate. He is just enjoying the big win. We say Rafa is unquestionably Grand Slam King today. Any final GOAT assessment will have to be made after the big three retire. And regardless of who that ends up being, how amazing that after all these years of tennis, Rafa Nadal can still pull off that kind of win. Nothing to debate there. I'm Grace Carter. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.